Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. So today I'm gonna to walk you through how I program lights at my church. So this is for worship services in my church on the Grand MA Lighting Console. Uh, this is simply a real world example. Uh, this is not meant to be a tutorial that's gonna walk you through exactly how to configure every little piece. Just wanted to walk you through a real world example of how I use my lighting console, which is connected to multitracks.com playback using SMPTE timecode. So I do pre-record my lights I mix that with a live lighting operator on Sundays. So I pre-record some stuff. My lighting operator runs some stuff on his own. All right, so I've got my console here. It is a Grand MA2 on PC. So I've got three touch screens set up here. I've got my um, command wing set up here, and then I do have a Behringer, uh, obviously a third party fader connected. So that all works through the PC. I'm using uh, a third party app to control this. So trying to illustrate here how I program my songs every week. So I do program, uh, there is a sequence for every song that we do, okay? And so to start with, if I jump down on my fader pages, on fader page one, I have all my house lighting controls. So I do have a live operator on Sundays who operates the house lights independently. So I have uh, several sequences set up for 10%, 20%, 100%. So they are switching those sequences using control buttons here for the house lights. So that's on fader page one. On fader page three, I have my hazer. So I have all my haze settings there. So that's again controlled manually. Then on fader pages four and five, I have quite a few lights uh, on my stage. So I have positions set up for all my singers. So I do have individual front lighting set up for each of my singers. So I have sequences set up for each one of those lights. And then my live operator on Sunday is using the physical faders on the command wing uh, to light up the singers when needed when they're singing. Okay, so I have all those set up. Those are all for live controls. On page nine, I have all my default scenes. So I have a scene set up for our message. I have a scene set up for walk-in. I have a blackout scene set up, all these things that we can activate via buttons. So again, all this is being controlled and fired manually on Sunday via my live operator. Now on page 10 is where my songs start. So I do have a song, uh, sorry, a sequence here for every song. So you can see fader page 10, uh, number one is This Is Our God, Honey in the Rock, Freedom, Holy Song of the Ages, Gone, Battle Belongs. And then they all have their own sets of cues in there for each song. So I save all those. So every time we do the song, we just have to play it back. So this is running all of my motion lights, all of my colors, all that kind of stuff is pre-programmed. So if we jump in, uh, on a Sunday, I would, you know, for preparation, let's jump into This Is Our God. I would set up my first, you know, look and program that in as, so in, in my case, it's, it's always Q, Q2. Q1 is always, I uh, just have a command in there to turn everything else off. So essentially, when I record this and time code fires, it's gonna fire Q1 of this song. It's gonna make sure everything else is turned off. And then it's gonna automatically proceed to Q2, which is my first opening look. So then I'm just gonna program uh, in this case, I've got an intro cue, a verse cue, uh, chorus, and then I've got quite a few cues in this song. I've got several manual drum hits, a drop, a fo you know, follow after the drop, verse three. So I have all of these cues that I go through and program for this song. So I'm doing all this manually and just programming cues into this sequence for that song. So once that is done, I also control pixel lighting via Mad Mapper. So my pixel lighting, uh, I have some pixel lighting in the drum cage to light up my drummer, and I have a bunch of pixel lighting on my stage uh, as part of my set design. That's all controlled in Mad Mapper on a different computer. And so I'm using MIDI notes to uh, 
activate or black out all of those pixel lights. So in the command section, I will put in MIDI notes. That's all connected through, um, you know, the Mac MIDI network, all right? I also am controlling ProPresenter from the lighting console. So I have a third screen that I just use on my stage uh, as an accent screen to do motion backgrounds, essentially. So I have a, another machine running ProPresenter connected to this MIDI session, and I'm using additional MIDI cues in the commands to fire those motion backgrounds. So I can turn those on and off. I can change them in different cues. So once I have all this set up for the song, then I record it. So I'm, again, I'm using multitracks.com playback to play time code in. So I have my time code set up over here. So it's as simple as selecting a time code slot. So I have a time code slot for every song. So I would select that slot, I would hit record, I would play my uh, time code in, and then I would just fire it. So at one second, I always fire my on cue, so that activates the actual song and it turns everything else off. Then obviously I'm just going through the song. When we hit to verse one, I hit go. When we get to the chorus, I hit go. When we go to the next, you know, verse three, I hit go. It's recording everything I do. When I'm all set, I hit stop. It sets it, you know, obviously I would name that time code pool and uh, then it's good to go. So then when I playback, um, playback app, when I press play, then it would automatically just play all that stuff back. And then my live operator is operating the front lighting faders, is operating some back lighting faders, uh, doing all my transitions and stuff like that. But all of my more intricate work within the song is being done via Simpty time code and it's queuing it in that method. So that's a real quick overview of how I program and run lights uh, using what I have, which is Multitracks Playback, the Grand MA2 lighting console, integrating with pixel lights on Mad Mapper software, and integrating with ProPresenter for auxiliary motion backgrounds. So it's a little bit of an intricate setup, uh, but it's pretty cool to see it all function. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.